you know, you have to take advantage of the fact that you don't get good prices with good news. Um, and I think right now that's what we're seeing, right? The Fed yesterday, I said, you know, I would never invite Jay Powell to a, a party because he's a buzzkill. <laughs> you know, he's always a buzzkill. And that's exactly what we saw again yesterday. But I would say the markets are holding up remarkably well at this point. And the Dow's only down 12% for the year now. Um, and if you get outside of tech, it's a bad lover that doesn't love you back. Um, most sectors right now are just in a correction. They're not in a bear market. Uh, Ryan, looking at this market day to day has been extraordinarily difficult to at least uh, anticipate where it might go. But right. obviously, Jay Powell wants the market to cool off. Even though he says, we're, that's not our mandate, we're not interested in the markets, come yeah. on. We know they are. And then that, that fumble by the reporter, I mean, maybe he looked before the news conference started and saw that the market was up and then it went down, but you could tell he, he was annoyed. He did not want the markets to move higher on that. And he felt maybe I'm not being strong enough in my voice. Yeah, well, I mean, again, he, like, his face was red, but he wasn't, he wasn't really emoting. But I, but I think what's happening here, going back to the tech trade and no pain, no gain there, Scott, is, you know, I think you're seeing a transition in the market. And I think it was em embiotic last week when, uh, emblematic rather, when Tesla was actually worth the same amount as Berkshire Hathaway. So it's kind of like Berkshire Hathaway, old school stocks now are getting into the top five, top six in the S&P 500. And now your big tech names are starting to slide down. Uh, so I think what you're seeing right now is basically like, I think tech is the trade of the past, with all due respect, Scott. And I think what we're seeing right now is we're seeing that great rotation because a lot of companies are doing well right now. What do you like? I love consumer staples right now. I'm a boring guy, you know, Coke, Pepsi, uh, Mondelez International looks great right now. They're still doing really well overseas and overseas with the strong dollar. Uh, they're still beating expectations. They can raise prices. And that's what you want to look at right now is like companies that can do well in an inflationary environment. And that's just not tech. They have too much competition. And, you know, bottom line is their growth rates are going to slow. They can't go up forever. It's yeah, impossible. I mean, I